Did you a favor with that? I'm sure the truth was giving you problems. Go to hell! I'm not telling you anything. Just tell us where the money is, and we can stop all this. Go to hell! I'm not telling you anything, you fool. So you're the one they call Coco. I want to call you tough guy. My name is Jack. But you can call me whatever you like. Let's do this the easy way. Tell these guys where the money is, and I'll let you go, freely. No harm done whatsoever, we go our separate ways. I give you my word for it. Go ahead and kill me. I'm not afraid of dying. Certainly you do have more anger than brain. You enjoy spitting. I take it you're gonna spit the truth where the money is. Right? In your dreams. So your problem is you watch too much TV. And these American movies that you watch won't get people like him spitting the truth where the money is. You're a sick man. I know. And you're not the first one to say that. Get out. I don't come back. You know what they say about the war changing people? It is very true. It was a year in 1998 when everything changed. I was in the army deployed in the Congo. I 
witnessed terrible events, unspeakable things, things that you can never imagine. And I borrowed a few tricks that I brought back home and I found them very useful. You see, everything I brought here didn't cost me more than 15 bucks. So this is Chinese mad. I got this for two bucks. It comes in handy. This year, I didn't buy it. I borrowed it from my aunt. She's a fashion designer. It's a good woman. She's all I have. I will return this when I'm done with you. I just gave you. It's not harmful. It's just to keep you from shutting down. Because whatever I'm going to do to you right now is going to cause your brain to shut down. Now we don't need that, do we? Because everything we need is in that brain. This one is my favorite. First time I used this was on my uncle. You see, both of my parents died when I was only five years old. So my uncle and my aunt took me in as their own son. But my uncle didn't just see me as their son. You know, he had other pleasures, so he did whatever he wanted with me to quench his desires. So as soon as I got back from Congo, I could tell this in scalp. And as I screwed the last one, I saw him bite his own tongue before he went cold. But anyway, why am I even telling you this? This is not for you. I've got something special for you. This. You see, the pain you're feeling right now, I know it. Trust me, I do. And the pain you're about to feel, trust me, I know it too. And this is the pain that's gonna make you spit where the money is. You want to bet? It's not. Oh, oh, oh. 
Say this. This, you know, when I cut your hand like this, it's the pain you're feeling right now. It's different from the pain that you're gonna feel when I raise the bone. You wanna talk? You wanna talk? My back pocket. In the garage, there's a door under the carpet. You find it. Please. That wasn't so hard, was it? I told you to do this the easy way. And he chose the hard way.